Big time for a major buzzkill. Mattel having its worst day in two decades after the company posted weaker than expected guidance. Shares of the toy maker plunging as much as 20 percent. And this comes after an epic rally for the Barbie dream house it's one Barbie week dream. ago, <laughs> just one week ago. Stock had its best day since 1976. Even with today's decline, the stock is up around 40 percent year to date. Tim. This is in your portfolio. It, it is. Um, by the way, the worst thing about the Barbie Dream House was setting that thing up. But uh, we'll get that's <laughs> you another. You had your own Barbie Dream that's House. That's another show. And and the bizarre We're thing about this is, I mean. <laughs> yes, of course I have my own Barbie Dream House. Why wouldn't I? Doesn't everybody? But the, what I talked about two days ago, or so it seems, just like two days ago, that Barbie was up 15 percent, 17 percent XFX in the fourth quarter. So how do you explain this output? If anything, Hot Wheels and Barbie were the sweet spot of that quarter, and then they come out today and give you that news. In terms of where the stock is, you're actually still 11% above where you were when they announced those earnings. So if you want a Pyrrhic victory, that's it. But this is very, very disappointing for a company that continues to give you one step forward, two steps back. Uh, okay, so gives me they, that. They had an investor day today, which is where they gave this guidance. Right. What I don't understand is when they reported earnings, they must have known about this guidance. And exactly. why didn't you release the guidance that's right. when you report On earnings? February 8th, when they reported fourth quarter guidance, when the stock was, I think, closed around 12 and a half or so, why wouldn't they say, I mean, what changed in a week? I don't, I don't know. know. I mean, apparently something changed. You weren't buying those G.I. Joes with the Kung Fu grips. You remember that thing? So in my world yeah. here, not only is it flawed, but now you have to start questioning the management. The, you're in my wow. head. It's amazing. Wow. It's like you, you reside in my head. And that's been the issue with this company. I mean, we've had management changes. We've had, we've had a restart. We've had a refresh over and over again. So, so why do you it, you, it used to be, it used because to be because I think there's an in, incredible brand value. I think these guys are starting to do some licensing deals with some movies coming out that'll be kickstarting. They have a digital strategy that's been the key to most of these toy companies is getting online, getting digital, becoming part of the video gaming world. I don't know how Barbie gets into a video game, but I'll be there. But, but I wonder if, if Hasbro, if Mattel, to everyone's point, Mattel was the shining star. It was the one that navigated the Toys R Us better than Hasbro. It had a lot of levers to pull. So when you start to look at the tailwinds, there's much more tailwinds to Mattel, even with this latest sell-off. But I wonder if you can play the Hasbro buy off of this, because that took it on the chin when Mattel was rallying. Maybe this one is in inverse relationship. I think longer term, you look for those levels where it rallied from, you use that as your stop on Mattel. Yeah, you, you can play the Hasbro <laughs> off of this. BK's not going to do that. I, I just think they're all challenged at this point in time. I mean, you, what do kids play now? They play video games. They're not playing necessarily with Barbie. They're not playing with Hot Wheels. As cool as I used to think they are, and as cool as Tim still thinks they are, they're just not playing with them. So I think you stay away. Well, specifically, he plays with his Barbie dream house. Yeah. <laughs> He's a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. But, I mean, setting up that Nothing dream house was brutal. That. The elevator was particularly difficult. The, but, um, yeah, it's well, some dream house. house. Wow. Why wouldn't it have an elevator? Let's be clear. The maid's quarter in the dream house, too. <laughs> yeah. What a pain.